Hello everyone, welcome to Modex 3D tutorial and tips video. I'm John Ling from Modex 3D EA team. Today I would like to present how to use our mesh fix tool to clean up all the critical defects on the surface mesh. Okay, during the mesh generation, sometimes we will see this kind of error message, which means there's a critical defect on the surface mesh. We must fix all of them before we move to the next step. We can either click this icon or this icon to go into the fix page. Okay, click this icon so we can go to the fix tool page. And here it highlights all of the defect on the part. If we select free edge, if we highlight all the free edge, we must fix all of them by using those tools. Let's see how to use it. Okay, the first one I will show you is your hole is very useful one. Usually you can feel the, the free edge like this one. So we click the close loop, close free edge loops and confirm and click enter and you will generate the surface mesh for this based on this uh, close boundary. Any other way to use it we can also feel hole for this kind of feature your hole and select this close boundary confirm and then we can give the reference points like this one point one and point two then the mesh element will be generated based on the nodes I just select so I can easily create the surface mesh along the feature line for example I click this one and this one now we have uh, another element create along this feature line and if we click enters then rest of them will be created based on the rest uh, of the, the boundary okay now we know now we know how to use fill hole the next one i will show you how to fill the annular click this one and uh, select uh, the cross boundary one Confirmed and select the close boundary 2. This one, confirmed, and the surface mesh will be created between two of the close boundary. Okay, next I'd like to show you how to use Scratch. Click this one, and we can give the reference point 1, 2, and 3. Then you can see the element will be created based on those three reference points. Confirmed. Now the element is created. One more time. Scratched. And give the reference point one, two, and three. Enter. And the element is created. Okay. Next, I like to show you how to use stitch this one, click it and read the instruction here, select the first surface mesh, this one, okay, select the, the second one, okay, then the free edge, the nodes along this free edge are stitched together, so the free edge is healed, okay. and next, I like to show you the unfettered functions. That finds a bad element first. So you can see here, there's a bad elements along on this surface mesh. So uh, either we can use did it and fill hole, remove it, and fill hole. to fix the, the bad element or or 
we can use fillet, select the surface mesh, and select the bare elements, confirm, and you can see the bare element just disappeared, and the node around it will be merged together. Okay, next one. I'd like to show you how to use rebuild, and before that we must uh, fix uh, the, the free edge here. So let's remove the pediment. Remove some of the element here, and then use move nodes. We can move the nodes on these elements to here. And you can see the node now is matched together. So if free edge is disappeared, one more time, use move node, select the surface mesh, confirm, then we can move the node, select it, and move it to the next position. Try to make the nodes match to each other, then the free edge will be fixed. Okay. Now there's a no free edge on this surface now, and but there's a sum of a bad elements, so we can select this one, use review. Yes, that the program reboot and see the bad elements removed. Okay. For this one, I would like to use just removed, did it? Removed all of the, the bad elements. Yes, and then fill hole. That would be that would be much easier. Okay. And about the split and swap, sometimes it can help us to improve the, the mesh quality. Let's show, let's see how to use it. One is split and select the surface mesh, and we can split the element from two to four. And in this way, we can make the mesh more fine and uh, remove some bad elements. And the other way is uh, swap. We can change, select the surface mesh, confirm, and click on the edge of the elements. Then this mesh line will be, the direction of this mesh line will switched. So in this way, we can improve the bad elements sometime. Okay, now we see how to use split, swap, unfit it, rebuild, fill hole, fill annular, stitch, move no, scratch, delete. And the other one is fill hole wizard. It's very useful too. It will detect where is uh, the free edge, and we can just move to the next, but currently you only have a one. I click this one, it can help us to, to fill the hole. It's a very useful one. And next is uh, the other one, Fix Wizard. And we can follow these instructions here. The first one will be Merge. The nodes, which is the same as this one. So first one, remove uh, the the sum of uh, the free edge by just merge the nodes. So confirm. Yeah. And then the second step is delete the overlap, but we don't have here because we fixed them manually before. So we can skip this step. And then step three is field hole which we don't have here, so skip. And this one is fixed quality, and we can let the program fix the quality automatically. Currently we have a 19 bad elements. Let's see how many 
you were left after the auto heal. Now we have a 6. Then it's so much easier just fix those 6. Okay. Let's try to fix them. So removed the bad element and fill the hole. Very easy. I have another 4 ok for this one swap would be a very nice one now I swap the direction then the balance healed ok we have a 3 now ok can use the build Disable this one, and we can select the region we want to rebuild. Okay. We don't have to rebuild all of them, we can just rebuild this small region. And give the new mesh size for this region. Okay, now it's healed. Now we only have a one. We can zoom to select. Now it's very difficult to find it. Now we have one here. Okay, we can use unfill it to remove it. Okay, then we check. Now everything is good, so we can leave this fixed page and generate the mesh again. Okay, that will be all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have uh, any question, please feel free to send an email to support.eu at modex3d.com. We would like to answer it. And if you like this video, please don't forget to find us from other social media like YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Hope to see you next time.